hike started two years ago and um, Sean Gobin is the founder of it and I was one of the first 16 um, warrior hikers in 2013 and uh, it was great I mean it was awesome to be with my brothers and sisters in arms the hike itself is for combat veterans who have PTSD emotional issues just to help them get out into the woods and you know use nature as a modality for healing and hiking as a way of healing um, and in, you know the time that you're out there it helps you process the things that you've went through and helps you with the transition when you come home looking at our great state of North Carolina and all the trails that it has to offer I decided that the mountains to tr uh, sea trail would be the best option for us this includes the Cape Fear Arch and so it comes down south uh, past Fayetteville uh, right by Camp Lejeune and Cherry Point, which is awesome for Warrior Hike because we're veterans. We want to be um, near military communities as well. And it's great because then the military community can reach out to the Warrior Hikers as they come through town. The experience here in Onslow County has been amazing. We hiked through Topsail uh, Surf City. We got to hike on the beach for a little over eight miles, which was really neat. And then coming here to Onslow County and being in the area of Camp Lejeune is really important to me. I was co-located with the 1st Marine Division on the front line and I love those guys, you know, Marines in general. We got to go to the USO today and it's the, the oldest running USO, I believe, in the nation. So that was, that was very interesting. One thing that you guys have here that I had no idea that you have um, is the Veterans Memorial. Uh, I got to see that you know, when it was all lit up in the Freedom Fountain, uh, just absolutely beautiful. Hiking past Camp Lejeune is great. I mean, it's wonderful, but I really think if you could have a way that the trail would go through that Memorial Garden, it would be amazing. You know, one of the guys that I hiked with last year on the Warrior Hike was affected greatly by the Beirut uh, bombing. And um, it's, it's very important that you know, we don't forget that history and that we share that history, not just with warrior hikers, but, you know, with, uh, with the public in general and to have the ability to go by that. Um, and number one, see how beautiful they are. And number two, share, our, you know, give our respects to the people who perished.